Yo, what is up YouTube? I'm back with another video and the reason you guys clicked on this video is obviously because of the title and you're interested in new Travis Scott Air Force Ones that are going to be releasing. Before we get to that, I just want to let you guys know I'd be really appreciative if you guys click that like button below, leave a comment of what you thought of this video, click that subscribe button, it'll really help the channel's growth. It'll be really appreciative and it'll just help out the channel. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. I know you guys are waiting, so uh, yeah, I'm going to just stop nagging or whatever. I'm going to quit the intro, we'll get straight into this video give you guys what you came here for. Coming in at number one, we have the Jordan 5 Oil Gray. This shoe is a woman's shoe, but I know there will be guys out there copying this shoe due to the reflectiveness that's uh, on the upper part of the shoe. In my opinion, I don't like this pair. Uh, I'm gonna have to pass on it. It is a woman's shoe, but like I said, guys will be buying it to wear it. Uh, I saw this other YouTuber, he was rocking them in the video. He did an on feet review. Um, I thought they looked pretty cool, but then again, I was like, nah, it's not my style. Oh, it's too much reflecting that's going on for me. Retail would be 190. On February 15, the off-white Jordan 5s will be releasing. These shoes will be a must-have. It's gonna be the hardest shoe to get this year, probably. And uh, the resale value is gonna be skyrocketing. So I'm definitely gonna try to get my hands on this pair. Hopefully it goes my way. I get the shoe and we'll see how that goes. But my opinion on the shoe is it's off-white. They got a lot going on with it. And honestly, I think this shoe will be the biggest sneaker release of 2020. Um, I don't see any other shoe being bigger than this unless there's one that comes out that we don't know about yet. It's going to be insane. It's going to be crazy. Hopefully, I get my hands on it. But we'll see in the near future. And uh, yeah, hopefully, you guys do too. In March, the Jordan 6 DMP will be releasing. Uh, there's no set date yet, but there will be shock drops coming up soon because All-Star Weekend is coming up. So be prepared for those if you want those. 100% uh, there's going to be a shock drop. They already did a shock drop for the rest of Mints, Nike, they got everything prepared. There's gonna be shock drops. So be prepared for those, keep your phone on you. Stay ready, if you want this shoe, you can probably get it on the shock drop a couple months early, a couple weeks early, and then you can resell it, do whatever you want with it. Retail will be 200 bucks. April 11th, Jordan will be doing a re-release of the Retro OG Colorway, Jordan 13 Flints. And uh, I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna have to get my hands on these pairs. Being from Flint, not Flint, Michigan, but being from Michigan, and this being so like near home, uh, it just makes me want to shoot. I love the colorway, uh, I love the blue that's going on, the gray. I remember my brother having a pair of these, I don't know what happened to him. I think when, once he got older, he went to college and he just sold all his shoes, I think. I know he's gonna be getting them for sure, so I'm gonna be getting them too. Retail will probably be 190, 200 at most, maybe, maybe 220, I don't know yet. What do y'all think of the Air Max 270s? I don't really know how I feel about these yet, but um, they, they kind of look futuristic a little bit to me, but I don't know. I don't I don't like the colorways that they have going on right now. I'm looking forward to the Travis Scott Air Max 270s that we'll be releasing. Those will be a must-have. Yeah, I just don't know how to feel about the uh, 270s right now. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll start liking them more, but right now it's like 50-50. It's 50-50. Uh, I don't know how to really feel about them. But let me know in the comment section how you feel about the Air Max 270s. If you'll be getting a pair of these colorways that's releasing before the Travis Scott. Retail will be 160 bucks. So as we all know, Super Bowl is coming up in a couple of days, and there is, there's a whole bunch of shoes lined up for Super Bowl weekend. One of them will be right here, and these are Garbanzo beans. I don't like these at all. They look like a huge, thick boot. It just looks like a huge boot. I don't know if it's supposed to be a shoe. There's no confirmation on that yet. It's just called the Nike Air Barrage Mid. So I don't know what's going on with that. Nike, I'm not a fan of these. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to pass. Kanye West. Kanye West will be releasing another 350 Boost Yeezy on February 22nd. Honestly, Kanye, I think you should stop releasing 350s and move on to the next shoe because, um, honestly, 350s are dying out. Uh, I haven't wanted a 350 uh, uh, since I got uh, my V2 Statics. And after that, I just, I, I haven't bought any more Yeezys. I just stuck with that. And, uh... Haven't been have been on the uh, recent Yeezys that's been coming out. Wait, that's a lie. Uh, I bought the I bought the uh, 350 Zebras once they did a resell. Uh, once they did restock on those, and then I ended up reselling those for like 285 or something like that. Yeah, that was the last pair of Yeezys. February 7th, Nike will be releasing a Kobe 5 Proto, and the colorway of these are honestly fire. RP to the GOAT. I didn't like the last colorway Nike did for the Kobe's, and uh, I ended up passing on those, but this colorway, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to try and cop these. Being a huge Kobe fan, I, I need a pair of Kobe. I do have Crazy 8s, but those those are just old. I haven't bought a pair of Kobe since I was honestly a kid, so I'm gonna be getting these, hopefully. RP Kobe Bryant. Retail will be 200 bucks on these. 
February 14th, Joe Fresh Goods will be releasing a collab with Don't Be Mad and New Balance 992 Ladies. You know, us guys, we don't always have to get y'all stuff for Valentine's Day, you feel me? Like, y'all can get us some gifts too. So this would be a perfect gift for us if you ladies are feeling generous. Uh, you know, look out for the homies, you feel me? Like, come on, we need we need loving too. Like, we always give y'all love and positivity and all this stuff. Like, y'all can look out for us sometimes. Come on, y'all can look out for us. I don't know if the resale be high on these or not, but this will be a perfect Valentine's Day gift. There's no price for the retail of these yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be $190, $200. Also on Valentine's Day, Adidas will be releasing a Stan Smith Valentine's Day collaboration. Uh, I'm not really a huge fan of Stan Smiths, but they are on my list for under $100 pair of sneakers. February 7th, there's another pair of Dunks coming out. These will be called the Plums. I don't really know how to feel about these, but I know Dunks do really well in the resale market, so if you want these, I suggest copping them, doing what you want with them, keeping them, sitting on them for a little while. Um, I think they'll do pretty good. Being that a couple pairs just released, actually today, on the Trophy Room, they did a restock today. A couple more websites set and just passed on those. It should be retailing at 110 bucks. Now for what all you guys came here for. So today, there was a picture that was leaked on, uh, not leaked, but it was posted on Cactus Jack's uh, Instagram profile. There were a pair of Air Force Ones. Here's the colorway, and uh, I don't really know how to feel about them. Let me know in the comment section what you think of them, but I'm basically gonna give you guys some information on the photo that was leaked today. So basically, um, there's just a lot of confusion going on. Multiple accounts been posting the shoes online, and uh, ever since the photo got leaked, everyone is just going crazy about the shoe because they're like, is this actually going to be a future release or is it just a mock up? But, um, but yeah, the uh, Travis Scott Nike Air Force One, which was posted on the official Cactus Jack brand's uh, Instagram page today, was an error on their end. Most likely made by an intern who runs their account, which is likely why it was removed in minutes. And the shoe is most likely one of one that was made exclusively for Travis and will never release to the general public. End of story. I don't know if that's true or not, but this is what a Instagram source is telling me. Um, I'm, it's called Over and Under. You can look them up on Instagram. Uh, link will be in the description. Uh, I just read this post that they just made about the shoe. But let me know in the comment section how you guys feel about it. That's really all that I have for today's video. Um, if you enjoyed watching, make sure you leave a like, click that subscribe button below, leave a comment on what you thought of this video, it really helps the channel out, well, I appreciate you guys for clicking on this video today and watching it, uh, let me talk to you guys about some shoes, and uh, yeah, you can go check out some other videos that I posted, and that'll be it, thanks for watching.